what's happening is that you're being given an opportunity to connect with something more, the voice of your own best interest. That's the good news. The ego perceives it as the worst time because it feels itself as being undone. In this stage, the ego sees all problems as happening out there. The stage one is the stage of undoing. So it feels like it's always being attacked and it's always in a place where it hasn't really examined what's happening in real life. It just knows that whatever's happening is happening from the outside in. This stage of undoing is actually undoing the doer and only a doer can address an attack. The being of us, on the other hand, is the part of us that abides in a place of sweet repose and joy and ease and peace. And it speaks in a voice of sanity and connectivity. The ego, on the other hand, the part that stage one of this path of awakening, the six stages of awakening, stage one, the undoing, the ego there is all consumed with the outside world and being a victim and being attacked. It has three premises that it's being attacked and so it can attack back and it's justified in attacking. So all of life seems to revolve around its idea that we're not safe and secure because we're separate from something that must be important and integral or we feel lost and separate from it. So what is it, but we don't know what it is, our true self, our divinity. And it has all these solutions as ways to keep us in the spinning of our own making of the world of separation. One thing to know that's fundamental now is that if you're in that place where you see yourself as separate from everyone else and that you can feel attacked or you can feel as though your life is being undone, like stage one, and that the things that are most important to you are just crumbling around you. What's happening is that you're being given an opportunity to connect with something more, the voice of your own best interest. That's the good news. The ego perceives it as the worst time because it feels itself as being undone and it doesn't understand what's happening. What you wanna do is connect to the something more by stopping whatever it is you do, just stop what you would normally do and allow yourself to take a big deep breath, a connecting breath. Allow yourself to do something that feels as though it's substantially loving, self-loving. Take a nap, take a warm bath, go walk in nature. Do something that connects you substantially. And then view life from a more connected space. That way you'll know that this stage of undoing isn't real and all there is.